Oh, hi, Maisie. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my home theater tour video. This is an update video, and cats are passing through right now. Hi, Nova. Yep. So, I've had a few updates um, in the month of October, and now I'm finally getting around to making a video about it. So, the front end pretty much looks the same, but if we come over here, you'll see we have new couches. And they are much newer than my, my other couches were. I sold them and, and upgraded to these, which are actually uh, given to us by my stepfather. And he had the sofa in storage for about five years, and so it's practically brand new. And the uh, the love seat there was in his apartment, him and uh, and my mom's apartment for the last five years or so. And uh, yeah, they're great, much more comfortable, better condition than the other ones, which were going on fifteen years old. And as you can see here, we have recliners. Yeah, oh yeah. And both of those recline. And the two on the end on the sofa recline, but because we have a small living room, we had to make a sacrifice of that last one to not be reclinable for now till we upgrade dwelling. And the next big upgrade is the projector, which was sorely needed. It's an Epson. Powerlight 2000 Home Cinema, and I can tell you it's fantastic. I've had it about a month and a half now, been using it a lot, and it is much brighter, much more clear, obviously a much better resolution at 1080p. It does 3D, and I had to build this crazy contraption to hold it because the throw distance is shorter. And Nova wants to be on the coffee table. Nova, why are you on the coffee table? I'm just going to plop down on it. So yeah, um, nice upgrade of projector. Everything comes through this uh, HDMI extender. Oops, two uh, Cat 6s. 50 foot. And uh, it even sends the 3D signal from the PlayStation. And this uh, shelf, this shelf was uh, completely home built again, like the other one. And it's um, it's a a really hard wood oak, I believe. So it is sturdy. Um, I had to get a nice hard wood to uh, make up for mounting it with one bracket and all that because man I was so limited by what I could do with it you see I I did that again with the brace and those are adjustable I can just turn the screws to bring the projector up or down and then of course we have some braces there because it's off off center and those hold it in the in the wall very nice. That's a stud, of course. And move my picture around. So yeah, it turned out pretty good. It's about as good as I can get in this situation. Because like I mentioned before, the ceiling isn't really an option for mounting. And the throw distance had to be just right, so it had to be like right here above the, the sofa. And my original plan was just well, I'll stick it on a table behind the sofa. But no, that doesn't work because the, the these sofas have a much higher back than my old one. So I, I uh, literally had the projector on the stand for one day before um, I, I sold the other sofas and got the new ones. And then I had to figure out how, to, how the heck to mount the projector. But I think it turned out very well. And... Uh, yeah, and then the the next 
Now, first, I should probably mention why I upgraded the projector because, believe me, it wasn't it wasn't on my things to buy list for a while. I was planning to be in the next house before then, but um, the old projector died. It died hard, and um, yeah, less let let that be a lesson to you. Don't don't do what I did and buy a cheap projector off of eBay because it didn't last very long. It was, we did get 700 hours out of it, and, you know, consider I, considering I paid a bit over $100 for it, um, I guess 700, 700 hours is acceptable, but, you know, that wasn't really in my plans. Essentially what happened was um, we started getting blue blue pixels and then they started getting bigger and then the blue pixels turned into big blotches and then half the screen became blue and that tells you that the LCD chip was dying and uh, so yeah there wasn't much hope for that thing and so I just said I'm not taking any more chances I'm buying a brand new projector the one that I wanted originally and I got this one for five hundred dollars on Amazon, five fifty, I think. Yep, definitely worth every penny because you're getting a 1080p projector with 3D capabilities, and the colors are great. I really don't have any complaints about the black level. I'm sure that a more expensive projector would be better, but for my use, I think it's fantastic. We do a lot of uh, movies and gaming on it. And uh, here's the glasses that I got. These were, yeah, these are active shutter glasses, Samsung. And they were 17 bucks on Amazon. And, you know, per piece. And they work great. You just tap the button and it syncs up by RF with the projector. So thankfully it uses a standard format for that. And you don't have to buy some special proprietary set of glasses and back over here then the one new thing that I have over here is the Xbox I also upgraded my Xbox I uh, sold the white 360 you know it still worked and everything it just was a little uh, you know aged and uh, having having some trouble you know, like, so so it worked fine. It was just that sometimes you'd get a read error and have to reboot the system. So I upgraded to this black one that I got used at, at GameStop, 100 bucks, And for about $30, I think, $35, I got a 320 gig hard drive used. So it's all decked out now. Works great. Um... Yeah, I've never owned one of these slim 360s or even been near one, really, um, except for in the store. So I didn't even realize that these are capacitive buttons, uh, for better or worse. You know, I've heard mixed things about them, but I like how I was, I was actually surprised how it goes ding-ding on you. <laughs> that was something I didn't know about these. But yeah, definitely a much better design than the white one which was kind of ridden with problems. Here's my copy of Forza 4 which I just got in. After dealing with with two not good used copies I I was fed up and I just bought a new one off of Amazon. Because I had so many tr I'm so much trouble trying to get a copy of Forza 4 it was ridiculous. So I think that about covers the upgrades to the theater room, and we're enjoying it a lot. You know, um, did watch uh, 3D Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, Age of Ultron. Uh, the other 3D movies I have are um, The Hobbit 2 and Star Trek 2. The uh, the the new one and I just I bought those before I even had a 3d projector because I knew eventually I'd have one so let me uh, 
turn out the lights and fire it up. All right, here it is powered up and I, I think it's pretty much warmed up now. So I think it looks beautiful. The um, resolution's great. I've pretty much got it fit on the screen just right. And uh, yeah, if you look really closely, you might be able to see some pixels. But definitely nothing compared to the old one, which had a huge screen door. And a few dead pixels from the start. Yeah, I think this projector's great. And just a side note, yeah, there's the projector doing its thing. But yeah, just a side note, um, you see that the Sega Genesis um, background or uh, theme there, dynamic theme for the PlayStation. Yeah, I had a terrible time <laughs> getting that back because I, I love it. It's like, it's definitely my favorite and I've kept it on my PlayStation for years. Um, but I recently upgraded the hard drive and did a backup and restore for my old one. And the only thing that didn't restore was the themes. They were all broken and said that I needed to authenticate with the store. But they've removed it from the store, which makes n absolutely no sense. It was a free theme and they could easily charge money for it and I would have bought it again if it had been there. But they frickin' took it down off the store for no reason and it's my favorite theme. So I uh, had to find a another method of getting it and I did find another method of getting it and I won't say how. But uh, when you take it off of the store you leave me lo little choice. And also... It's a European version, so now instead of being everything Genesis, everything is um, Mega Drive themed, which is a slight uh, qualm for me, because obviously I have an American Genesis. But hey, I'm happy to have my favorite theme back after much toil. Um, yeah, the Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive theme. The best theme on the PlayStation, which no longer is on the store, sadly. But this projector is super bright, super detailed, super colorful. It's uh, supposed to be 1800 lumens, which, you know, even though it's technically like 200 lumens less than my old projector, this one blows it out of the water. So I think actually I was my old projector was probably giving me about half of that. It was probably like a thousand lumens or 700 lumens or something ridiculous like that. You know, because it was old and worn out. And, uh, you know, even though, like, you know, here I got everything dark in the room, like, I can turn on a bunch of lights or watch during the daytime and it's still enough to see it. You know? Look at that. That's with the brightest light on in the in the living room. And it might be a little washed out, but it's still perfectly visible. So, yeah, with this projector, you can definitely watch during the day with uh, a little bit of ambient light coming in. Which doesn't happen a lot with us. We'd rather just watch at night. So, yep. Very happy with it, and uh, even if it had to happen a little sooner than expected, that's okay. We're enjoying it a lot. So I hope you enjoyed this tour video, and uh, if you liked it, subscribe for the fun of it. You might get some new videos in the future. I would like to do some collection videos, explore my laser discs and albums and Blu-rays and DVDs, some with you. Even got VHSs and games. So, and still need to take you on an exploration of this uh, Vectrola, which is almost a hundred years old now. So, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, check out filmnerdcory.com for more interesting things. And as I. Uh, Endeavor to be a film nerd.
So thanks for watching. Bye.